to a developing story we've been following since New Year's Eve. That's when a man led police on a wild, slow speed chase for nearly an hour. You see it there. That man now talking to Channel 2 from behind bars. We showed you every moment of that chase, including the driver's arrest. Then on Friday, Brett Poppenhausen made his first court appearance. Today, he talked with our Samantha Potashkin about what happened the night of that chase. She joins us live with what he had to say. Samantha? Well, Jonathan, police initially tried pulling him over because the SUV he was in was reported stolen. He says he didn't steal it, but the reason why he didn't stop is because he has such a long criminal history, he didn't think officers would believe him. This is Brent Poppenhusen in court the day after leading dozens of police officers on a bizarre New Year's Eve chase. Poppenhusen, a father of three who has been behind bars on drug charges in the past, admits he did speed just hours before the chase. He says he didn't steal the car he was driving in with his girlfriend. Rather, he obtained it in exchange for giving a used car salesman drugs. Thursday evening, when he saw a police officer following him, he didn't think it would end well, so he pulled into a gas station and dropped off his girlfriend. It was then when he says officers pulled up next to him and told him to get out of the car. But instead, the 34-year-old drove off, saying he's been in and out of jail for the past 18 years and didn't want to return. He teared up as he said he's sorry for what he did and talked about how he didn't want to disappoint his family again, especially his mother who's battling cancer. And I also asked Pop in Houston why he rammed his car into two police units and he said he did not do that on purpose. He now faces several charges. His next court date is set for Tuesday. Reporting live, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News.